Hi everyone. Hi. I'm Nick. I'm Jean-Luc. And we are the WWE Games. Yes, we are. We're laughing because this is actually This a third is like take. take seven because every single time the cat, the cat walk keeps front. walking in front and won't move. Yeah. And it was really cute at first, but then it That's was like, okay, annoying. you have to move, yeah. Saba. Yeah. So and anyway, today we're making Woohoo! Chicken, chicken nuggets. nuggets. Well, chicken tenders, chicken nuggets, whatever you want to call them. Yeah. Breaded chicken. Yeah. But we are baking it because yeah. you know what? We don't want to deep fry healthier. anything. It's a lot healthier. And we're baking it in our handy dandy loving panko breadcrumbs. So you probably want to start off by putting your oven on to 375. 375, depending, 400, yeah. depending on how well you like things cooked. And yeah. the cat is back. Yeah, but he keeps walking behind this time. But he's walking time. behind. Good kitty. So now we have on here, in here, uh, two, breasts, two chicken breasts that we just diced up. Yeah. Uh, you can leave them as strips if you want, if you prefer chicken We fingers. like cubes. We like yeah. chicken nuggets. Yeah, nuggets. Nuggets. Uh, we also have two eggs. Yep. Which what we're going to do is we're going to coat the chicken in this egg concoction that we're going to make. Okay. So we also have some bovril, which we always use. We have our trusty herbs that we always use. And the panko, which you can buy anywhere. So, that, so what we're using is a half a cup of panko. So literally, this is the only points you have for the entire recipe. This um, half a cup of panko is three points. So uh, that's the only thing you're actually putting on this chicken. So it's actually a really healthy version of chicken uh, fingers, if you're chicken, fingers, chicken, chicken nuggets. nuggets, if that's what you're actually craving. Um, and then we have spices, of course, like always. So we have parsley, we have our Parmesan, uh, par Parmesan garlic from uh, Clubhouse, um, our garlic plus from Clubhouse, as well as the roasted red garlic and red pepper from Clubhouse. So we use these all the time. Almost every recipe we have uses these. these. Um, the cat's deciding to uh, play some, you know, he's decided to become a filmmaker. <laughs> he is so, now, really, so he's, he's our new director. He's direct, He's the director of our, our new... Uh, our new episode. Our today. new episode of Chicken Fingers. Yeah. It's Saba's directing this. So, so what change, I just did is I'll I... change the angle here. So I just um, broke the two eggs and I'm whisking them and I added two tablespoons, uh, teaspoons, sorry, two teaspoons of the bovidin to the eggs. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna throw these eggs on top of the chicken. Just to coat the coat the chicken, give it some type of like bat, like a binder. Yeah, it, it, it binds the panko to the chicken and it also adds flavor. It does add a little bit of flavor. And I'm just gonna stir that together to get it a little bit of everywhere. You can probably use one egg, but we like, we said to use two because we weren't sure if there would be enough for the yeah. two chicken breasts. But uh, if you think one's enough for yourself, of course. Go right ahead one. and just use the one. And not only that, you're not using the entire egg. So it's not like, it's basically just to get your panko to stick. And what it does is actually creates a coating around your chicken. So it, it gives you that, that, I don't know, it's the texture that you need in order to make it feel like an actual nugget. So, so now I'm taking the half of um, panko. So in a, in, a, in a separate plate, uh, he's taking half the panko that we I just showed you a few seconds earlier. And this is where we throw in all our spices. So this is to taste. So if you like, you know, a buffalo style chicken nugget, or throw a some cheese, buffalo style like, spices. Yeah. Um, if you like cheesy type nuggets, you can nutritional also- Nutritional yeast. Nutritional yeast. You can also grab, um, there's, a, there's some like uh, cheesy, Flavorings out there, like the popcorn, yeah, the popcorn, kernel popcorn flavoring. Some yeah. of them are zero points, some of them half yeah. points. So you have to really make sure you yeah, want to make points. sure you check the points on anything. We you prefer use, using right? zero point stuff just because why, it's why how, add points if you it's don't have to? It's how we lost our weight. Yeah, like choosing zero point options is how we lost our weight. We all we always try to make sure that if there's an option that we can use that's not a point, that's what we use. So he's just mixing all that together. I'm just using a fork yeah, to mix so, it. Want to okay. grab the parchment paper, hun? Uh, we're cooking on that. We don't need pressure. Oh, paper. that's right. I keep forgetting. I keep forgetting. So this is your panko crumb mix. This is your chicken. So I'm going to move all this aside here so you guys have a better close that. There you go. That's what you got there. And now I'm going to start breading my chicken and putting it on the dish. I just use a fork. I use the fork that I was mixing the chicken with. I grab a piece of chicken. I start putting it in the panko breadcrumbs and herbs and then lay it on a cookie sheet. And that's basically what you do. You basically do that for every single piece of chicken. Yeah. And then once they're all uh, covered, you put them in the oven, um, you bake them. Uh, and again, you always want to make sure your chicken is cooked, so bake them long enough. Yeah, so usually we do about 25 minutes. At least. At least, yeah. just to make sure everything is cooked through. And that's basically it. So what we'll do is we'll stop here, we'll finish putting these on the pan, and I will show you what you like when they're we'll done. Yeah. So we'll be right back. I'm looking forward to them. I always like these. They're the best. Hi, everyone. So we're back. We're back, and it's been about 30 minutes. Yeah, we left Probably around 32. 
but you left that in there a little bit longer just yeah. to make sure it was cooked. I always go by 20 like I start off with 20 minutes because I know it's chicken and then I go back and add five minutes thereafter just so that way I know when my chicken is cooked and for each oven tell. each oven's different so yeah. you just gauge your oven and see how it works for you these look fantastic oh my look goodness like out. oh my goodness these are just coming out and they're like nice and crispy I'm getting on my tippy toes for you so and then we're just gonna put that there. I'll show you what they look like once we we plate them. Oh, I don't, you don't have to plate them, just go ahead and pop one open. Uh, so they can see what it is, right? I don't wanna see us plate the entire thing. Like so, see? Uh, and then they're crunchy. And they're so. nice and crispy. So let's, you know, let's try. You know, I have to, we have to taste test this, right? Mmm. Mmm. So amazing. Like we said, the entire thing here is three, three points. points. So you're basically making yourself chicken nuggets or chicken fingers. For three, for three points. points. Three points for chicken so, fingers. you know what? I'm all for that. You could even coat the entire breast. Yeah. And bake it that way. Yeah, bake it that way. So that's another option too. Mm -hmm. So panko is your friend. Because mm -hmm. it's a very low point option that makes things And really gives crispy. you that breaded crispy. And that bread, like that deep fried yeah. feeling. Yeah. So if you guys want to try this and you like it, comment below, let us know if you like it. Mm -hmm. um, follow we'll, us. Yeah, follow us on, subscribe below on for the W Gaze on YouTube. And you can also follow, find us on Facebook at WGaze from Fat to Fit. You can also find us on uh, WG Connect and Instagram, NikkiPoo999. Terp7719. And uh, yeah, so if you enjoy, comment below. Give us other suggestions yeah. of other kinds of recipes. Let us know what you want to see. I know you guys, yeah. some people have made some suggestions. I'm still looking into the hummus because yeah. I'm not some, I've never made hummus before. Uh, so, so we're trying to, find a trying to figure out to do it. I'm not 100% sure yet, but you're still on my radar. I haven't forgotten. And I know that was a comment that was made a while back ago. Yeah. So we keep track of all the comments that you guys make and keep track of the recipes you're asking for. So if you ask for something, we'll actually write it down and try to figure out a way to make it. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time for another recipe. See you soon. Bye. <laughs>